e-commerce since 2011 was the fuzziest thing around. Every e-commerce company got funded, and there was 100 companies that were going to become the next big thing. 2012 is going to be different. 2012 is going to be about consolidation. You're going to see the bigger fish and the little fish. And really, it's going to be about performance in a meaningful way. It's not going to be about just what your top line is, but are you able to create a scalable critical business? It's going to be a perform or not. Supply chain management is going to become a crucial part of any success strategy, both in, in terms of sourcing, warehousing, and eventual logistics and fulfillment. But all three of these, if you're not really focused on these as an e-commerce player, you're done. So there's also an element of critical mass to make a business that's actually scalable. From our standpoint, having looked at a lot of data and our own metrics, uh, for us this is sort of what we see, 4,000 daily transactions at about 2,500 rupees. Again, assuming that you're not selling goods at a throwaway price, you're selling them at a normal margin. So this is about a quarter a day of business, or $200,000 a day. Um, and assuming that you're having reasonable profitability on the margin, at this point you can say you're potentially really scalable. In terms of growth areas, we know that horizontals are sort of big, but you'll start seeing niche verticals and segments like health and beauty and jewelry and whatnot. Uh, but probably an under-discussed story is actually the move of offline brands to online. Uh, and I think that's going to be a big trend we'll start seeing in e-commerce in the year or two. 